I sit here in the role of president, but my skin color doesn't change. As the mother of a black son and a black daughter, there is a tremendous amount of fear and anxiety. These things are, are happening. They're traumatic. You know, we hurt behind this. It just came like a river to me. So it put me at a point where my education means nothing. My service as a veteran means nothing. The work that we do today will impact generations and generations to come. There's really no day that goes by where I'm like, okay, cool. I can take off my skin and just, or change my skin and just feel okay for the day. It's not really like that. You just, you know, this is it. Which is why I think I've felt like a, a desire to like want to do well in school because I want to not necessarily prove them wrong, like other people wrong, but just to kind of like show myself that I can do it. Some of the best educational experiences or some of the learning doesn't take place in the classroom. It happens in between the margins. And hopefully we can start this dialogue. And my thing is, I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm just trying to give you information for you to kind of weigh. So, I mean, if you talk to affected communities, they know exactly what needs to happen. The question is, are we actually going to do those things? You know, we t I'm talking about 13 years. At the end, it's like, no one has asked me these kind of questions. It's humanizing. Don't join in because it's the politically correct thing to do. Examine your heart. Think about who you are and move forward accordingly. Mm -hmm.